Good morning, y'all. Welcome back. It's 420 Shorty, and I want to show you how big these girls have gotten. I'm gonna try to do a quick video because it's getting really hot. But here is the pound cake that's nice and bushy. It's doing really well. You can see how I've put netting up. It's gonna need another thing of netting soon. And you can see over here, let me run in and you can see my little Jurassic plant. <laughs> she looks amazing. Got those giant leaves. And she's gonna probably only have like a giant bud, but I'm fine with that. And then over here, we have the White Widow. She's filling out the whole cage now, as you can see. She's poking out the sides here too. And she looks amazing. And we're waiting on some lacewing larvae, or green lacewing in larvae form. And I'm gonna be putting that out here to help with any of the bugs that are here. And then I'm gonna go on vacation. But I'm waiting for those lacewing larvae. Actually, the green lacewing in larvae form. <laughs> there we go. But you can see this plant looks amazing. The leaves are beautiful. Really don't have a whole lot of bugs. There are a few that have some bug stuff going on. But I think it's partly because I waited a little while for the assassin bugs. And they didn't hatch, so they sent me some more. And it was a little bit late getting them out there, and that's why I ordered the green lace wings in the larvae form, because they chow down on the bad bugs when they're in larvae form. And then they grow and lay eggs. So, And then over here, we have the other pound cake looking beautiful. She's so full now. She's filling out her little cage. Not as tall as the White Widow, but doing really well. Nice little bushy plant. Really happy about it. And the drip line is doing quite well now. And I've been running it off the barrel with the Protect. So let me show you how those CBD are reacting to that. All right, here we are. Here's the first CBD. And you can see it's filling out the cage. It's filling out the width of it too. So this one's another really happy plant. And you can see most of the leaves are not curled up like straws. They are very happy. There's only a few that are still doing this, but these are very sensitive plants and they kind of take an expert grower or someone that's pretty skilled because I've had a few people try to give me their opinion on what was wrong with them when they were curled up and they were totally wrong. So if those people had been growing these plants, they would have maybe killed them by now. And so I was happy that I made the right choices on what the problem was because they look so happy now. I mean, look how happy this baby looks. Just gorgeous. And this one over here is the one that's been causing me all the trouble. And you can see I had to put a shade cloth up above her. And I, this is the one I topped. And I think that's part of why she's giving me so much trouble is I topped her right here. And then ever since, she's been kind of stressed and she's had the most heat stress. And you can see she's the one that has the leaves that are still a little bit curled. And she's very fussy, very, very fussy. But they are getting as much water as I can give them and still afford it. And they get seven to 10 gallons of water in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm trying to give them a couple gallons as well like three gallons I'm hoping I haven't gotten to measure that yet but I am trying to give them about three to four gallons in the afternoon because they get really wilty and they start drooping and then I can tell that that's water the just lack of water them curling up like this is them having some kind of issue not just oh water me and I'll come back this is, I can't get nutrients, I can't uptake water, I, you know, that's them giving me signs. And so they look really nice, the leaves do now, so I'm really happy with that. But every afternoon, this one's all curled up again, where the other ones aren't really doing that in the afternoon. So I'm happy that we've got progress, and they're growing, 
it is growing quite nicely because I've had to move the shade cloth up twice. So that's not the problem. It's just now keeping up with all the maintenance to keep it healthy and thriving. So let's check out this last one. Hey, before my phone overheats. Ah, oh, there's Rocky. Hey, Rocky Russell. There's my Rocky Russell. Happy dog. Okay, and now we have the CBD that's doing quite well. And you can see all of her leaves are open, looking wonderful, very happy. In the afternoons, she does look a little bit wilty, but it's because she just wants water, and that's why I'm starting to give them a little extra water in the afternoons. So, and I'm gonna do it around two o'clock because that's just before the total heat of the day. And I'd like them to get a drink of water before that happens. But yeah, they look absolutely fabulous compared to what they were looking like before. And I'm super glad I made the choices that I did. And I'm hoping that it helps a few of you learn how to deal with heat stress. Because that was really bad heat stress. And you can see some of the, the leaves that, that were growing in. They were really getting stressed because see how they're really not leaves very well right down here? They're like just little thin lines. That's heat. That's the heat stress. And the silica is helping tremendously. I mean, look how beautiful this baby is. And yes, did you see the dragonfly that just flew by? That was kind of cool. It was a little baby dragonfly. And she just looks happy now. Very happy. And so if I can just keep up giving them enough water and afford it, then we'll make it through this year with an abundance of a harvest. So oop, let's back up and take a little look at the whole garden. Look at that, you can see them in their pots now. Whew, okay, I need to be in the shade. My phone's about to overheat. So I just wanted to do a quick video so you guys could see how big they're getting in their pots now. You can really see them from far away. I'm really psyched and I'm really happy about it. So thank you all for watching and tuning in and I'm hoping it's helping people learn how to deal with heat stress because heat is really a huge issue and the silica really is a big deal. It really, really, really is. And even though the, the THC plants weren't starving and having as much heat stress, they look 10 times happier too. And these look 100 times happier. So I'm super psyched about that. And yeah, we're gonna have a really great rest of the year. So this is gonna be awesome. And they're gonna be totally happy with my friend taking over, taking care of them for the weekend. Oops, there's my knuckles. <laughs> Always with those dang knuckles. <laughs> well, thanks y'all for watching. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications, and have a peaceful day.